Upon completing this in-service, you will be able to, number one, know the definition of NPO and clear liquid diets. Number two, understand the potential needs for NPO in our clear liquid diet order. And number three, identify appropriate liquids for a clear liquid diet order. NPO stands for nothing by mouth, and it means to not consume food or fluids by mouth. This diet is used to give the bowel rest or not to stimulate the di digestive process. This diet is also used to prevent aspiration for individuals with impaired swallowing function. A clear liquid diet means the resident will be consuming only clear liquids for all their meals and snacks. This diet may be used with residents in an acute state of illness, vomiting, diarrhea, pre or post operatively, or for preparation for tests. It is nutritionally inadequate and should not be used for long term. Refer to facility policy or state and local guidelines to determine need for the dietitian assessment if ordered longer than 24 hours. When is an NPO diet used? The NPO order is usually prescribed if a resident is preparing for surgery or other procedure involving all areas of the digestive system. It is usually done 6 to 12 hours before surgery. It may be used in residents with active GI bleeds, a GI blockage, or acute pancreatitis and may be needed longer than 12 hours. An NPO diet can also be suggested by the speech pathologist if a resident is unsafe to swallow food by mouth without choking or aspirating the food and fluids into the lungs, causing serious aspiration pneumonia. Addressing an NPO diet order. Once the NPO diet order is received, nursing should notify the Food and Nutrition Services Department. Follow facility protocol on who informs the resident or representative of the order. Residents who are on an NPO diet because they can no longer swallow food and fluids safely after being screened by the speech pathologist or after failing a swallow study test should be provided education on their options for nutrition and hydration per facility policy. Options may include tube feeding, TPN, or potentially hospice. Residents experiencing GI bleed, GI blockage, acute pancreatitis, nausea, or diarrhea may be on NPO status until the illness is resolved. The resident may need to receive IV fluids or TPN and should be assessed per facility protocol. Once the surgical procedure is completed or illness is resolved, the resident may then be transitioned to the appropriate oral diet as medically appropriate per the physician. What is allowed on a clear liquid diet? You may have ginger ale, lemon lime soda, apple, grape, cranberry, or orange juice, as long as it has no pulp, ch chicken, beef, or vegetable bouillon, cherry, lime, strawberry, orange, gelatin, fruit ices, plain popsicles, clear liquid high calorie protein supplement. Not allowed are any other carbonated beverages, peach, apricot, or other nectar juices, tomato or vegetable juice, all other soups, gelatin with added fruit, pudding, ice cream, sherbet, fudge, instant breakfast mix, milkshakes, or commercial milk-based supplements. Addressing a clear liquid diet order. Once the diet order is received, nursing should notify the Food and Nutrition Services Department. Follow facility protocol on who informs the resident or representative of the order. It may be beneficial for the resident to be on a multivitamin with minerals daily as well as calcium and vitamin D daily depending on the individual. If the resident is on a clear liquid diet for more than 24 hours or per state and local regulations, the resident must be evaluated per facility protocol. Test your knowledge, NPO and clear liquid diets. Question number one, which of the following are true when referring to an NPO diet? A, nothing through the mouth or nothing by mouth. B, may be used to prepare for surgery. C, it helps prevent aspiration pneumonia for those who failed to swallow function. Or D, all of the above are true. And the answer to question number one, which of the following are true when referring to an NPO diet? And the answer is D, all of the above.
question number two. Pre-surgery NPO orders are usually for how many hours? A, six to 12 hours, B, two to four hours, C, four to six hours, or D, less than two hours? And the answer to question number two. Pre-surgery NPO orders are usually for how many hours? A, six to 12 hours. Question number three. All the following are correct about the clear liquid diet except A. The resident is only allowed to consume clear liquids for all their meals and snacks. B. The clear liquid diet is not nutritionally adequate. C. The clear liquid diet may be used for preoperative procedures. Or D. Ice cream is allowed on this diet. And the answer to question number three, all the following are correct about the clear liquid diet except D, ice cream is not allowed on this diet. Question number four, true or false, peach nectar is allowed on a clear liquid diet. And the answer to question number four is false. Peach nectar is not allowed on clear liquid diet. Question number five, true or false. If someone is on an NPO diet for an extended amount of time, IV fluids, enteral feeding, or TPN may be recommended. And the answer to question number five, is true. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or consulting dietitian services, please contact us at 1-800-761-9200 or nutritioncaresystems.com.